Scientists have long delved into the genetics of animals, learning, engineering, and improving the very basis of what makes up the lives of these animals in a bid to get improved or better performing offspring. We've also heard of phenomenal hybrid creatures in mythology throughout history that have surpassed our imagination. But we didn't know that there are several of such animals that live among us today. Some were a result of human intervention, while others resulted from the interaction of two closely related but distinct animals. Although the internet is full of photoshopped images of strange animals, the animals in this video are absolutely real and truly amazing. Keep watching to find out about these unique animals. Number three will blow your mind. Trust me. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. And if you want to see some of the most unreal and exotic hybrids in the world, be sure to watch this video till number one. 15. Chigian Pickens Ever wondered what you would get if you crossed a chicken and a pigeon? The answer, as the title must have suggested, is Chigian or Pickens. Pick whichever one you prefer. For the purpose of this video, I'll stick with Chigians. It actually sounds cooler. Cool. Cool, yeah. Chigians isn't just the combination of the name of this creature's parent's name. It's actually a word with Latin origin, which means half chicken, half pigeon. These species have existed long ago and are believed by some cultures to be mystical. They claim that anyone who sees these creatures would lose his or her eyesight. Mom? Travis, Travis, Mom? We're here. We're, we're, we're no, right I, here. I can't see. However, in the 1970s, the first set of chickens were bred by a couple who thought it funny to mate a chicken with their pet pigeon named Carlos. The couple was reportedly under the influence of some substance, which explains a lot. Carlos the Pigeon had three babies, which the unnamed couple called Chigians. Chigians have since been spotted in some parts of the world. We just hope they weren't also as a result of some crazy drinking. 14. Wolpen A Wolpen, or should I say, the Wolfen, is the offspring created by crossbreeding of bottlenose dolphin and false killer whale. These creatures are so rare, only two of them exist in the world today. Unlike some of the hybrids in this video, the wolfen isn't a creation of a science experiment or drunk couples, but a testament of love between both parent animals, Tanu Anai, a male killer whale, and Punahil, a female bottlenose dolphin, shared the same enclosure at Sea Life Park, Honolulu, where they became the unlikeliest of couples. An average false killer whale measures about 20 feet long and weighs 3,000 pounds while a female bottlenose weighs within the range of 330 to 440 pounds and are 6 to 12 feet long. So you see why these two aren't particularly the best suited couple. Although they've been known to swim together in the seas, the result of their rare love affair is a wolfen named Kikyamalu, the first known living hybrid of both species. Although most animal hybrids are born sterile and with numerous reproduction defects or don't survive all, Kikyamalu amazed her caregivers by reaching full maturity and being fertile. Kikiamalu combines the features of her parents. She has a whale's eyes and has a body size that is in between that of the killer whale and bottlenose dolphin. Kikiamalu also possesses 66 teeth, which is the average number of teeth her parents. She had two babies of her own, but quite tragically, lost both due to what research proved to her sexual immaturity. Today, Kikiamalu and her third baby, Kawali Kai, are the only existing wolfins in the world. 13. Koi Wolf A koi wolf, or koi dog, which is not to be mistaken as a wolf that is koi, is a hybrid mix of an eastern gray wolf and a western coyote. And for those that follow the popular TV series, this is something you've probably heard of before. Koi wolves are believed to have been in existence for a while now, mainly because they are fertile. It is reported that a koi wolf is a successful hybridization between a gray wolf, coyote, and a domestic dog that took place over the past century. This might be because of the influx of coyotes in Ontario, as wolves were being eradicated from that part of Canada during the early 1900s, and they bred with the wolves that were left. According to further genetic findings, koi wolves mated with dogs sometime in the mid-1900s. A koi wolf has the best traits of both species, they can reach 4 to 5 feet in length and 35 to 40 pounds of weight. Koi wolves have a coat thicker than that of a pure breed coyote, 
which is dark blackish in color. When you find a big-headed animal with powerful-looking jaws and short, round ears, and a wolf-like body that has long, strong legs, just know you've seen a koi wolf. They generally have a body bigger than a coyote, but not as big as a wolf's. Coyotes can thrive in the wild as well as rural, suburban, and urban areas, a combination of where the parents can live in. 12. Savannah Cats If you want a cat that is as loyal, obedient, and intelligent as a dog, then you should get a Savannah Cat. You can even put a leash on them and take them for a walk. Savannah Cats are more than mere household pets. They're also exotic hybrids. Savannah Cats also enjoy playing fetch, wagging their tails, and have no fear of water. Largest of domestic cat breeds, Savannahs are birthed from the crossbreed between a domestic cat and a wild African serval. They aren't as a result of the crossbreeding of a dog and a cat, even though they possess dog-like traits. Savannah cats became popular among breeders following the approval of the unusual breed by the International Cat Association TICA, in 2001. In May 2012, the Savannah cat was accepted as a champion breed by the same association. The first Savannah cat was created by Judy Frank on April 7, 1986. He crossbred a male serval, which belongs to Susie Woods, with a Siamese domestic cat and named her Savannah. Savannah cats are very agile and active. They can jump as high as seven feet from a standing position. They may act as dogs sometimes, but a cat will always be a cat. They are very headstrong and will go for what they want regardless of what you say or do. They are characterized by color markings on their body, which comes from the serval, and have tall, wide, deeply cupped, rounded ears. Savannah cats have long and leggy bodies. When they stand, their hind is often higher than their main bodies. 11. Hinny Where the offspring of a donkey and a horse is called a mule, the hinny is an equine hybrid that is the offspring of a male horse, stallion, and a jenny, a female donkey. The hinny isn't too similar to its relative, the mule. It differs in physiology and temperament, resulting from genomic imprinting, although both are often mistaken for each other. Hinnies are said to have the body of a donkey and the extremities of a stallion. In comparison, the average hinny has a smaller statue, more muscular legs, shorter ears, and a thicker mane than the average mule. This is due to the dominant genes of the male horse. Similar to mules, hinnies show wide variations in stature. This is due to the fact donkeys come in various sizes. However, depending on the species of the mother, a hinny can only be as big as the biggest breed of a donkey. At the same time, a mule is restricted to being as big as the biggest horse breed. The hinny's head is more like a horse's than a mule's, with shorter ears, which is still longer than those of a regular horse's. Because donkeys have 62 chromosomes and horses have 64 chromosomes, a hinny has 63 chromosomes as a result of their interbreeding, same as mules. This odd number of chromosomes results in the hinny being infertile and are only bred for farm work. 10. Dizzo Would it be possible to mate a yak with a domestic cow? The answer to that question is a resounding yes. Dizzos are the hybrid offsprings of a yak and a cow. Thanks to artificial insemination, reproduction between these animals of varying sizes is possible. In going by the usual naming convention, they should be called yattles or yak cows. But judging by how those two options sound, it's best we stick with dizzo. It's less complicated. The dizzo is a technical term that refers to a male hybrid, while a female is known as dizomo or zom. Dizzo, the male hybrid, are born infertile, while Zomo is fertile and can be backcrossed, leading to many supposedly pure breeds of cows or yaks carrying each other's genetic material. Dizzos are bred for their higher milk yield and low-fat meats and are stronger than both parents. 9. Beefalo Like the Dizzo, beefaloes are also a product of the love affair of a domestic cow and another close relation. This time, the mating involves the male domestic cow and a female American bison. Beefaloes were first intentionally bred in the mid-1900s, with accidental between the pair notice as far back as 1749 in southern and northern America. Beefaloes, unlike many other hybrid animals, are born fertile and can reproduce on their own. Beefaloes were created to survive the harshest of weather conditions, produce superior beef, and carry the best trait of both species. 
Beefalo's meats are leaner, more flavored like that of the bison, but have better temperaments and easier to raise like domestic cows. It is common to find beefaloes in the wild, but they are mostly bred by humans. Beefaloes can grow up to 55 inches in height and top the scale at about 1,500 pounds to 2,000 pounds. They are characterized by a fine, dark-colored robe, which spreads evenly across their body. An average beefalo is 37.5% bison, and 63.5% of their genes are of the domestic cow. Catlows are breeds that are 50% or more bison, while any hybrid that resembles a bison more than a cow is regarded as an exotic animal rather than livestock. 8. Geep A geep, not to be mistaken as an automobile, is a sweet, little bundle of cuteness. A geep is an endearing offspring of a goat and a sheep. Geep are not only absolutely cute, but they are also infrequent. It's been argued whether or not the geep is a true hybrid, or maybe it's just a sheep with genetic abnormalities due to the hybridization process and difference in chromosomes. The difference between the goat's chromosome 60 and that of the sheep 54 makes the fertilization between these two animals almost impossible. And in cases where fertilization occurs, the resulting offspring, a cute little geep, has a chromosome that is an average of both parents and is born sterile. Although infertile, the resulting jeep has a very high libido, which drives them to mount both ewes and does even when not in heat period. Therefore, they have to be castrated at a very young age. Geeps are characterized by coarse outer coats, a woolly inner coat, goat-like legs, and a stout sheep-like body, basically a sheep with goat legs. If you think this was cute, the number one will blow you away. 7. Leopon A leopon is the beautiful hybrid offspring of a male leopard and a female lion. These creatures are so rare that they can only be found in captivity or zoo, where they are bred. It's highly unlikely to spot these in the wild. The animal's head is like that of a lion, with a mane about 20 centimeters long, while the rest of the body has the features of a leopard. The first ever leopon was bred at Kalapur, India in 1859. A large male leopard was crossed with a lioness. The mother lion gave birth to two baby leopons, one of which only died after 30 months, while the other survived. They were spotted like a leopard, but the spots on their sides were smaller and closer set than those of a regular Indian leopard, and were brown and indistinct, like the fading spots of a lion cub. The spots on the head, spine, legs, and belly were black and different. They had tails that were spotted on the top side, and the underside were striped and had a blackish top with longer hairs. The leopon's bottom were dirty white, their ears were fawn and had a broad black bar, but didn't the white spots found in leopards. Leopons love climbing like leopards and don't seem to be scared of getting wet. The male leopons also develop manes. They grow to be just as large as lions, but they have shorter legs like a leopard. To date, leopons are found in some wildlife and exotic animal sanctuaries. Before moving on to our next exotic hybrid, we have a quick challenge that'll just take 5 seconds to complete. So, here's the deal. Leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it. It actually works. 6. Kama Best of two distant worlds, the Kama is a hybrid of camels from Asia and llamas from South America. Both species exhibit many differences, but camels and llamas are both descendants of camelids and share a similar ancestor that evolved in North America during the Paleogene period. The crossing of these animals is only possible via artificial insemination, which is the safest and best way to mate the pair, since the average male dromedary camels can weigh six times more than the female llama. The reverse case isn't fruitful. Kamas are created to produce an animal with the strength and size of a camel and the meekness of a llama. Those that don't possess the hump of camels are smaller than camels, but larger and stronger than llamas. 5. Narluga Narluga has arguably the coolest name on this list. I just love the way it sounds. Narlugas are hybrid offsprings of a narwhal and beluga whale, which are the only two species of the monotinidane family. Both parents are similar, though narwhals are distinct and have a long, straight, spiral tusk extending from the upper left jaw. 
A couple of years ago, a DNA test of a 1990 skull found in West Greenland was confirmed to be that of a narluga, the product of a narwhal and a male beluga. This discovery should have been called a barlawal, but I guess whoever named it shared my point of view. Narlugas are very rare to find, but it's prevalent to see a school of beluga whales adopting a lost narwhal in the wild. 4. Growler Bear – Pizzly Bear Growler bears, as you might have guessed, are a cross between two distant but closely related species, a grizzly bear and a polar bear. A reverse crossing has also been successful between these two, and the offspring is called a pizzly bear. Some Canadian wildlife officials have suggested calling them nanoloks, which is gotten by blending the Inuit names for polar bear, nanook, and grizzly bear, aklak. Unlike most animals on this list, growler bears or pizzly bears have been spotted in the wild. The sighting of a growler bear in the wild was first reported in 2006 in Canada. Interestingly, grizzlies and polar bears have a mutual contempt for one another and will rarely coexist in captivity or in their natural habitats. However, climate change, extreme situations, and human intervention have given rise to more of these adorable, fuzzy, caramel-colored hybrid bears. Growler bears grow slightly smaller than polar bears, averaging 1.5 meter tall at the shoulder and weighing around 1,000 pounds. But due to their grizzly bear genes, they are better able to survive in warmer climates. 3. Jaglion Another beautiful and intriguing feline hybrid is the jaglion, or jaguan, which comes from crossing a male jaguar and a lioness. Jaglions don't exist naturally in the wild. Very little is known about jaglions, as so few exist. On April 9, 2006, two jaglions were born due to an unintended mating between Diablo, a male jaguar, and Lola, a lioness. The offspring, Jazara, female, and Tsunami, male, were born, brought up, and still live in Bear Creek Wildlife Sanctuary, Ontario, Canada, where they dazzle visitors with their unique beauties. Their parents were raised together within the same enclosure because they were inseparable and brought in from the same place and shared a special bond. Tsunami is spotted, but his sister is a melanin-skinned jaglion thanks to the dominant melanin gene found in jaguars. Also, an opposite pairing is possible, which results in an offspring called Ligar. 2. Liger, Tigon Ligers are probably the most famous hybrids of all in this video, and the largest of the big cats. They are the offspring of a male tiger and a female lion. They are much bigger than either parent. The largest slim liger in the world weighs a jaw-dropping 1,000 pounds, and the most obese ever recorded weighing a mammoth 1,600 pounds. These animals have never been seen in the wild, which isn't going to change anytime soon, because they don't naturally inhabit the same regions. Ligers look and behave more like their fathers, lions, than tigers, but do exhibit tiger traits, such as striped backs and a love for swimming. When it comes to tigons, Nobody can blame you for thinking these animals are basically the same as a liger. After all, they both come from lions and tigers. Tigons are relatively smaller than ligers, and they are usually smaller than both of their parents. They take after their tiger fathers, but they also can roar and love to socialize. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering what animal hybrid this is. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over, and we may even feature it in a future video. We looked into this picture. It looks like a pygmy elephant with oversized ears, kinda like Dumbo the elephant from the Dumbo movie, playing in the mud. We discovered that the image is actually a photoshopped image of a baby wild boar doing pig stuff in the mud. And this brings us to the number one pick for today's video. 1. Zonkey Zebroid my personal favorite is the zonkey. A zebroid is a technical term for a hybrid of a zebra and any equian species, usually a horse or a donkey. A zonkey is birthed by the crossbreeding of a male zebra and a female donkey. And when a male donkey crosses with a female zebra, the offspring is called a z-donk. Like most other hybrids, zebroids are sterile and are bred for their superior features and to act as tourist attractions. The zonkey tends to be smaller than the zebra and takes on a more definitive donkey-like appearance, except for its uniquely striped pattern gotten from the zebra. 
Due to the proximity of both parents' habitats, it is very common for them to exist in the wild. And that's it for the 15 hybrid animals you need to see to believe. Which animal has the coolest name, in your opinion? What do you think about animal hybridization animals? Should it be encouraged or discontinued? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.